What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today you guys, we are having, yes, Wingstop. I'm so excited for this meal you guys. I was craving Wingstop all day today. So what I have for you is, I have garlic parmesan, original hot, french fries with fry seasoning, honey mustard, um, did I get ranch or blue cheese? I can't remember. Ranch, and veggie sticks. And then to drink, Diet Coke. Why is my head so cut off? All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this. I am starving. French fry and ranch. Mm. How was your day today? What did you do? I literally worked all day. And then I cleaned my house. One thing I heard you guys is that Wingstop soaks their veggie sticks in sugar. I don't taste sugar on here, but why does this taste different than when I make it at home? Is that a fact? If you work at Wingstop or if you know someone who's worked at Wingstop, can you give me the inside, the inside scoop? Mm. The app was acting up. And so the whole time it told me my order was on the way. And then randomly out of nowhere, it was like, your order has been delivered. And the girl sent me a picture. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <clears throat> so I ran down to the lobby. I snatched up my food like a gremlin. I'm right here. I normally like to meet them down there because I'm so afraid that... Like, what if somebody picked it to swooped it up? Like, they were just feeling mischievous or cheeky and they just swooped up my order. And then the fact that she sent me a picture of it there, like, how could I dispute that? Garlic Parmesan. The two flavors I always get are garlic Parmesan and original hot. I used to never get original hot, but it's so good, you guys. Mm. It's so good. So, I posted in my community tab, I needed help with what to talk about you guys. I know it was last minute. But only one person responded. <laughs> that was Vanessa. Shout out to you, Vanessa. Well, trust me, I know you all have busy lives like me. But I asked. What should I talk about in this video? Because I need help with topics, you guys. Like, I just don't know what to talk about. 
So Vanessa said a really bad date. And I have to tell you guys, I kind of struggled with that question. So, most of the dates that I've gone on, because I'm a long-term relationship type of person. I'm very selective. I have super high expectations, super high standards. I don't get the opportunity to go out with a really bad person. Because I've already pre-selected and then pre-selected and then pre-selected from that. I know it sounds complicated. But welcome to the life of a Scorpio. And an erotic Scorpio with that. So anyways... I haven't really had that many and I was like really thinking. So Vanessa really had my wheels churning. Like. Honestly. Most dates I've gone on. They snatched it up. And then rightfully so we were together for like years like. I feel like out of most of the dates I've been on, it turned into a long-term relationship because that's how selective I am. Like, I don't play games. Like, I'm like, I've already done all the pre-criteria before the date even started. So then when we go on the date, if sparks fly and magic happens, then it is what it is. Well, I'll tell you. And not to sound narcissistic, <laughs> but good or bad, everyone I've gone on a date with, like, falls in love with me. That even sounds weird for me to say, but it's so true. I don't know if it's my pheromones or what. But most of my life, I've been in a long-term relationship. And most of them started out from a first date. I want to have an original hot. This is my favorite flavor from Wingstop. Before, I used to hate spicy foods, and this is still spicy to me. But it's, like, not spicy enough to where I die. I don't have like a juicy story to tell you, but there was this one time, one time at band camp, I'm just kidding. Where this guy asked me out. <clears throat> and he was kind of cute, like, he didn't drop dead hot, but like, good, cute. And I think I would, well, obviously I was in between relationships, but I was in between relationships and I'm like, okay, whatever, sure. A moment of weakness, like my guards were down. And so, I'm old school, so he asked to pick me up. And I should have known this off the get go. But for some reason, the vibes were weird. So instead of allowing him to pick me up, I was like, how about I just meet you at your house? Like, that's not normally like me. Typically, I'm very old fashioned. I'm like, pick me up, open the door. All that stuff, like, that is, like, a requirement. 
I was just like, yeah, I'll meet you at your place. <laughs> it's so fine. You know what I hate? Is when people are telling stories during mukbangs and they drag it out. I so understand it now. Because chewing and talking and not choking and dying to death is a reality. And when I watch mukbang, sometimes I'm like, spit it out. <laughs> So immediately, because I did that, I should have already picked up on my tuition and known that something was off. So anywho, I went to this guy's house on the night that we were supposed to hang out. I have two stories. I just remembered another one that I'm going to tell you. And then it was like sketchy apartments. <laughs> I should have turned away from them. So when I got there, I was like, ugh, like sketchy. I know my followers, and you guys all would have been like, what the hell are you doing? So then I go and I knock on the door, and he answered it, and it was like the smallest little apartment in the world, which wasn't even the big thing for me, like I don't care about the size of the apartment. But when he opened the door, you guys, there was literally, like, you know when you open, like, a room and the aroma and waft of something comes to you? When he opened the door, you guys, all I smelt was animal. So first of all, dogs are barking, which I'm a dog person, like I don't mind. Birds were squawking. And when I tell you squawking, like squawking, like in an apartment, and it smelled like cat pee. So I'm like, I'm me, you guys. Like, I'm a Scorpio, but I'm not a mean Scorpio, like to your face. Because I'm a Scorpio with a Gemini moon. So I'm very aware and, like, I'm very kind. Like, I don't know. Like, I just, I protect people's feelings. Like, I have empathy. But if I was the real Scorpio at heart, which, by the way, I found out there's three types of Scorpios. There's one, two, and three stages. There's the Scorpion, the Eagle, and the Phoenix. I found out that I'm an Eagle Scorpion. But I'll go into that in another video. But anyways... It was disgusting. Like, I love animals, you guys. And I don't want to say these animals were uncared for, but there was just too much going on in like a 700 square foot apartment. If I walk in, and first of all, he's in it. Um, here in like the South, they call them wife beaters, which I hate that word. But they're just like those Hanes tank tops.
So I already kind of knew where his mind was at versus mine. Like, I was ready to go on a date. And the fact that he had on a wife beater, ugh, I hate that word. I was like, okay, he's more in hookup mode. But, ha okay, you're going to have somebody over at your house for squawking birds? When I walked in, you guys, this guy had like 15 bird cages in his apartment. So you know how you walk in an apartment with a little mini hallway Not at like the like the front part, but from like I would say like two or three feet back. That's when there was like cages, and it went from like kennels to like bird cages, which I don't think that like I don't. That's not legal in an apartment. Like you can have a pet or two pets or however, but you can't have a zoo. So it smelled horrible. And then in the living room, he didn't even have room to like put, cause he had so many like cages and stuff. He literally had two recliners and there was like a TV. Weird. And I get it, if you love animals, look at me like justify why he does this. If you love animals, you love animals. But have the right circumstances for them. So I was invited to sit in a recliner. in my Louis Vuitton. Or oh, he's in his wife beater with squawking birds. And he says, do you want to watch a movie? I'm like, I thought we were going out. But again, I knew where his mind was at. Honestly, he was giving me serial killer vibes at this point. Like erratic behavior. So anyway, we're like, what? so that was the first time in my life that I ever, what did he put on? Leonardo DiCaprio. Shutter Island. It was Shutter's Island. Shutter Island? The longest movie known to man. That of course would be the, that of course would be the movie that this person wants to put on. It'd be like putting on, like, what's that movie? You guys know what I'm going to say. What's that long movie with Scarlett O'Hara? You're yelling at me right now. But that's like putting on that movie. I literally had to watch an over two hour movie in hell. And then he like, I don't know. He was just really weird. Like I could tell he something was up. He wanted other things. But I'm like so polite. I'm really nice when it comes to being in person. I could tell he was annoyed when it was time to leave. Because obviously what his intentions were didn't align with mine. But that was the weirdest. That honestly is the worst date I've ever been on. All the other dates have been fairly good. The other one that I was going to tell you about. Oh. I was super young during this story. I'm just gonna like hit the high points. <laughs> but we all know we've done it. Like, I like blushing. I wasn't even of age yet. 
and I met up with this guy whom by the way was not feeling at all and obviously because I was not feeling him nothing came of age like whatever weird like I always have been that type of person like if I'm not into it I'm not into it but he again I don't know what it is about me in person my pheromones or whatever but people literally fall in love with me so I bounced like this person I couldn't tell you two things about him other than he <laughs> was not for me and he was not for me Well, one day, I was young. I could drive, though. Me and my friend Valerie, we were at, um, what's it, Whataburger? Water, Whataburger? And her and I had been out, like, all night. Like, we were having fun. And so we were, like, late night, way past curfew, way past curfew. I went to Whataburger. So her and I are at the table. And mind you, after I met that guy, he literally would not stop blowing up my phone. I just kept blowing him off. And this is an older guy. Not older, but older to what I was. I'm not going to give age specifics. But I could drive. Her and I are having fun. We're at Whataburger. We're inside. We're eating. Well, guess who walks in at like one o'clock in the morning? Said perpetrator. <laughs> you guys, I don't know. I've never in my life had an instinct so fast to like haul ass. And so he walked in and immediately when he walked in, him and I both locked eyes because I was facing the door and Valerie was facing me. It was so bizarre, like the looks that we gave each other. And I remember he immediately, because he saw me, he went to the bathroom. I looked at Valerie and she, I swear to this day, she probably thought I saw a ghost. I didn't even tell her because she was my best friend, but I didn't even tell her about this part, like experience I had. So what happened was, is he went to the bathroom. I literally like, cause we had our food. We had just received it. It was hot and fresh and like we're dining in. I like started wrapping my friends. I was like, let's go. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, let's go, let's go. Let's pack it up. Let's eat in the car. And literally like I've never had so much fight or flight, excuse me. And then I did in that moment. I don't know why I had that moment. I think maybe it was just because I not an like I'm I don't like altercation. I don't like people to feel bad. I don't know. But we packed up that shit. <laughs> we threw it in our bag. And we hauled ass to my car. And to this day she probably is like, why the hell was he acting like that? But can you imagine that guy coming out of the bathroom and like literally within two minutes I was there and then I wasn't? Like, that, to me, would have been the worst of the worst. Oh, my gosh. That was such a weird night. Such a weird night. But, yeah, when I was younger, I used to use older guys for alcohol. <laughs> There's no more carrots and no more celery. Oh. Stuffed to the brim. I am so happy you came to have dinner with me. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for your question. Brandy, I know you commented on the bottom, so thank you so much for your responses. And the rest of you, make sure you're quicker. I'm just kidding. Um, but definitely in this video or the next one, put in what you want me to talk about. I feel like I'm so stumped for what I want to talk about in my videos. 
definitely want to have topics from you guys or what you would want to hear not even necessarily questions but like what do you want to know or like what story times do you want to hear because i'm sure i've got one um i will be posting over the next several days however i'm on vacation starting today so tomorrow I have an early AM appointment to go back blonder because my roots are growing in. Look how long my hair is getting. Um, I'm going back blonder, getting a haircut, and then I'm going north, you guys. I'm going back to Dallas for a little bit to see my mom. And then where I'm going from there, no one will know. Um, I will not probably be posting about this vacation trip because every time I go on vacation, I normally disconnect from like social media and stuff like that. But when I come back, that's when I'll be like filling you in. I just, I've always been that way. And my friends are like, why didn't you do like postings and all this and that? I just, I don't, I don't know. Very seldom do I get in the mood to pull that stuff out because it's all about relaxation, the spa, Focusing on myself, rowdy nights. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know, maybe I'm not. Wait, what rowdy nights could I have anyways? It's not like anything exists. Um, but anyways, you guys, I'm just being cheeky. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.